Bruce Willis is stepping away from his acting career. His family says he has a medical condition that's affecting his cognitive abilities. It's called aphasia. It affects a patient's ability to communicate. And, and there are a lot of things that can cause it. And for family members, it can cause a lot of stress. Jessica Gway spoke with a speech and language pathologist about how the disorder could be difficult for Willis. Jessica. Aphasia can be very devastating for an entire family. It affects a person's ability to communicate. Bruce Willis's family says that his decision to walk away from the screen took a lot of consideration because his career has meant so much to him. Sad news in Hollywood. Bruce Willis is stepping away from acting because of a recent diagnosis of aphasia. Uh, so aphasia can affect your ability to, to speak, to understand language, to read or to write. Dr. Will Evans is an assistant professor in the University of Pittsburgh's Communication Science and Disorders Department, where he's been doing aphasia rehabilitation research. He says the most common cause is stroke. Other causes include a head injury, brain tumor, or dementia. If something that's happened to the brain uh, affects core language systems, somebody will end up with a diagnosis of aphasia. And it can be uh, really, really devastating. Just imagine knowing exactly what you want to say and, and not being able to produce it. It can be really frustrating. People end up being really isolated. What caused 67 year old Willis to develop the disorder is unknown. His family wrote in a post on his daughter rumors Instagram that it's impacting his cognitive abilities. It can be really difficult. And so uh, uh, thoughts and support just going out to what Bruce Willis and his family are going through right now. Willis is best known for his starring role in the Die Hard films. Pittsburghers certainly remember his 1993 film, Striking Distance, in the Steel City and on the Three Rivers. Willis played a homicide detective who gets demoted to River Rescue Squad as he investigates a serial killer. Action films may not be in Willis's future, but Dr. Evans says there's treatment and hope for those diagnosed with aphasia. I know people in the, the aphasia community that life continues. It's a, if the people that we see that we support, like when they figure out and can accept and deal with what's happened to them, there's a beautiful life that can follow from that and people supporting each other, fighting isolation. If you or someone you know is fighting aphasia, there is a new support group here in Pittsburgh, and Dr. Evans has an ongoing study going on in his lab. For more information on that and all resources available in the country, I'll put that on kdka.com. There are 2 million people in the U.S. who have this disorder, so what treatments are out there? I'll have that information coming up in the next hour. Live on the North Shore, Jessica Gway, KDKA News.